probably the most versatile and forgiving plants growing around would have to be succulents. So many of them will tolerate periods of low light and lack of water and are indestructible. Perfect for creative DIY projects. A mixed bunch of succulents can be turned into something personal and playful. There's so much you can do with succulents and I've got a little idea for a succulent table centerpiece. This is an ideal project for a birthday or celebration. But even if you don't have a special event coming up on the calendar, this succulent table centerpiece will spruce up any indoor space at any time of the year. I'm choosing a variety of potted succulents, but you could also take cuttings from your garden to insert into the arrangement. Think about the composition. The centerpiece will look great with interesting shapes and contrasting textures. And when it comes to colour, choose whatever you're drawn to. I've gone with the harmonious greens and blues and for a pop of contrast, the pinkish tones in these ones. You can use anything as a vessel for your plants, whatever takes your fancy. I like this simple, modern enamel baking tray. Whatever you go with, succulents need a minimum depth of five centimetres of soil to allow the roots to continue to grow. But there's no need for drainage holes as I'm not going to be watering, misting or feeding this centrepiece whilst it's indoors. Succulent plants last for at least two months inside in these conditions. And after that time, I'm going to deconstruct it and put it in pots outside, but I can also gift pieces to friends. This is the fun part, arranging all the succulents. The tall ones are put towards the back and then I think it's gonna have some sort of scene where it, there's a gradual fall and spilling over. I think I'll have the string of pearls just spilling over the side. Something like that. Now there's a lot of pinks happening through here. So I think these little blue green ones will contrast well by just popping them in here. I think that's looking pretty good. Now it's time to put them up. As I go, I'm backfilling with succulent potting mix. creating like a little forest with these chalk sticks. And it's always a good idea to sort of step back and assess where you've put things because it looks different from different angles. This one's Kalankoe Aerophyla, Snow White Panda. For the corner spot, I've got these great little Sempervivum arachnoidium adorned with cobweb type hair. I've also got a variety of Echeveria cultivars, like this Echeveria snow angel. By mass planting all these individual rosette shapes, Together, they form an eye-catching design. And now I'm finishing the look by filling in any gaps with fine gravel. Great, I think it's ready to be served.